function theories of communication. Today, we're going to talk about the uses and gratification and the two-step flow theory. These two sociologists and communication theorists are credited for functional theories in communication, specifically the uses and gratification theory, better known as UGT, and the two-step flow theory. While theories in general seek to describe, explain, and predict behavior, functional theories explain the how and why of people's choices. These theories can also be considered media effects theories. The uses and gratification approach views the audience as active. That is, they actively seek out specific media and content to achieve certain results or gratifications that satisfy their personal needs. This theory explains the reason behind why people consume various types of media and what they get out of it. The theory explores how the audience will spend their time finding media that meet their needs and suggests that we only use media that make us feel gratified. Basically, it stems from Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So when a particular medium satisfies any level of this need, when we talk about gratification, we are talking about the fulfillment of our basic needs as illustrated in the Maslow hierarchy of needs. Thus, media use facilitates self-actualization, esteem, love and belonging, safety, or even physiological needs, such as rest. The theory identifies four basic needs which the media gratifies. The first is diversion. The people use media to escape their routines or their boring lives. Second, personal relationships. That media can compensate for the decline of community and relationships in our personal lives. And this is especially true during the pandemic, where many of our social gatherings had become online. The third is personal identity. People may use characters they, I, they identify with to help them make life decisions. Also, we can say that people have used Facebook and other social media apps to express themselves and their identity. And the fourth is surveillance. People use the media to obtain information about the world and to understand the world around them. What are the key assumptions of this theory? First, the audiences are active members of the media through the selection of their preferred content that they consume. Second, media users are more aware of the reasons why they choose the particular media that they choose to use, or consume. What are the implications of these? One, media influence on behavior if through psychological factors. Second, that media usage is goal-oriented. Third, a particular media is selected based on its notion that it will satisfy the specific needs and wants of a user. Fourth, that media is always in competition with other communication types. And last, that since people are always in control of the media that they use, therefore, it can influence them on a huge basis. This is what the theoretical model of users and gratification would look like, where we find that gratification obtained is a result of the gratification sought and the media chosen. Let's talk about the two-step flow of communication theory. This was developed by Katz and Lazarfeld from 1945 to 1955 and later expanded by Lazarfeld during his research on the U.S. elections. The theory proposes that interpersonal interaction has a far stronger effect on shaping public opinion than mass media outlets. That is, that media may be the primary source of an influencer, but it is the influencer that is able to sway opinions. And we have seen this in the recent elections in the Philippines, where social influencers 
even if they are sharing this information, has managed to sway more people than actual facts of history. The theory states that opinion leaders pick up information from the media and this information then gets passed on to less active members of the public. This implies that most people receive information from opinion leaders through interpersonal communication rather than directly from mass media. So they can receive it from opinion leaders either directly in a conversation, through social media, through their news feeds, or uh, YouTube channels. In this particular slide, we see first the original model of the two-step flow theory by Lazarfeld and company. And the updated uh, three-step flow proposed by Jensen in 2009 already with the adoption of digital media. What is the big difference here? The original theory, of course, was developed with the idea of traditional mass media, such as uh, newspapers, radio, television, that had a more direct influence on the audience. As against digital media, where it is a targeted audience, um, that could vary, and that you now have a mediator mediating the media that is through social influencers. Looking at these two theories, users and gratification, and the two-step flow theory, we can now look at our own environment and see how this is very much applicable in today's social media environment.